Oh, yeah. It's about damn time. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. This video was supposed to be out a minute ago, but hey, we here now. Let's do it. So we all know what happened. Vegeta got his ass jumped and Krillin was about to end him, about to boost his KD on him until Goku was like, hey, bruh, let him go. I don't care about the earth. Just, just let him go. I'm trying to fight him again. Like, look at all of them. They barely made it out. Krillin looked like he need to wash his hair. Goku looked like he ready to meet King Kai again. Gohan just spawned and is already getting PTSD. He's five years old. He gonna wake up, eat cereal, and he right back in that field. But yeah, bro, they let his ass go. He goes on his Twitter account, tells them that they jumped his ass, hops in his pod, and this. And this said the travel took 19 days till he got back to his base. And I know you see that pod is small as hell. No food, no water. He living off that straight pain. I almost felt bad for bro, but I remember he really snaked his hands for no reason. So in my head, I'm really just like, it's tough that you got jumped, but hey, bro. If anyone deserved it, it's yo ass. So anyways, he lands and everybody just like, oh shit, what happened? They're looking in the pot and they see him fucked up. My first thought is, damn, they ain't see his tweet? It's been 19 days. They shouldn't even have to ask. He already told y'all. And then it hit me. All of his following came from Planet Vegeta. And we know where they stay in at now. They pull up to the pod, put him on the stretcher, then put him in the healing tank. And I'm crying, bro, think he brawn. Time goes by, he gets himself to full HP, the water drops down, and he says, <laughs> get this shit off me. Vegeta gets up and bruh, this is where shit just started to get weird. How is bro gonna come up and start having a full on conversation when bro got nothing hey, on? Yo. I know Vegeta's like, damn gang, can I put on anything? Like why is he camping my shit looking directly in my eyes like this shit is normal? Give me some privacy first, damn. But this is where it started to get scary. Look at him, he got a taste of that Zenkai boost and he's like, oh yeah, I'm finna spam this shit. Bro was telling us something here, that's why he was looking at us. He's like, y'all know what time it is. Vegeta starts lacing up with no laces and the doctor started talking. He like, hey bro, where'd that be at? Vegeta like, oh nah, his ass asking too many questions. Hit him with the side eye. Then said, chill bro, he just on a long vacation. His ass think he Adam Silver. I know you notice how Mariah Mills been radio silent. He must have made a phone call. He walks out with a fresh uniform and he had full HP. It's scary hours. You can see the confidence right now, but y'all know what happens. If you show too much of it, haters gonna come out the woodworks to shut you down. And that's exactly what this character, Kui, did. Vegeta walks past bro telling him to watch out. Then Kui hits him with the... Where do you think you're going? And if you look closely at Vegeta's face, you know Kui not gonna be with us much longer. And I can't blame him. Bro got his mittens all over his new uniform. He was asking to go. Kui tells him that word got out that he tried to get the Dragon Balls on Earth. Now Frieza trying to do the same thing, copying his old flow. But instead, he doing it at Namek. Vegeta said, I can't let this shit slide and got to moving. Sprints through the hallway like a track star, snags the scouter, and hops in the pod. And this is where it begins. His revenge tour on Namek. We knew it was gonna be trouble when we heard Vegeta listening to drill music at 7 a.m. He was simply a danger. Stay away. After some time, he finally lands on Namek. And you see the pod creating that nice Beyblade arena and you about to walk out of it. And what's with this swaggy angle? The cameraman's snapping right now. He steps out, puts on the scouter, and hits us with an off guard. He had to get one last flick for the gram. He gas caption and all. I'm not Namekian, but I still got the gram. Yeah, bro, his ass not even trying. So he walks off, and we find out that this whole time, Kui was following him, running a full court press from planet to planet. This is elite effort right here. He trying to get promoted. He hunts down Vegeta and finally meets up with him. Opens up the fight by flying past him and trying to boom him. But he moves out the way, leaving Kui standing there lost, and bro try to play it off like he wasn't trying for real. Look at him smiling, like, nah, bro, we on to you. Vegeta starts telling him he don't want this work. He like, I've been out here on the front lines getting this XP, we not the same. And Kui like, oh word, show me then. And only in Dragon Ball where looking constipated is a whole power move. He starts to power up, catching the attention of Kui and Frieza's other men scaring the shit out of them you know someone is cooked when they start talking about some nah my scouter must be broken while quaking in their boots just say you're not like that it's okay after he's done powering up brody started talking about hey bro we could just be on the same team this man straight up folded and he has no leverage team up <laughs> this shit about to be kobe and kwame brown combining for 84 points but you gonna have three after seeing that vegeta is clearly not rocking with it he pulls out the oldest trick in the book Oh shit, what's good, Frieza? I have never seen someone turn that fast. That boy Vegeta was shook. He probably caught whiplash the way he turned. Kui said, Ooh, got his ass. Then he started key spamming. And that's when I really knew he was cooked. Because that shit don't work. 
and as a viewer we just know this, but Kui was really sitting there like, wow, I can't believe that shit worked, while holding that NPC ass pose. Vegeta just behind him like, come on bruh, no way you thought you were gonna win off that. And that boy Kui got to running, he said I don't even like fighting for real, hit the jets and got up out of there. But the thing is, if you're gonna run, yo ass better escape cause you look even more sorry when you get caught. Look at him, Vegeta goes up to him and he's just like, you are a worthless bitch ass nigga. Then straight up cut him. Oh. And that shit was enough to put this man in a finishing animation. He takes one last look at the bright green sky and Vegeta hits bro with a dirty firework. And after seeing that, I remember why I forgot all about bro. His ass lasted two episodes. After that's done, Frieza and his men caught wind of how easily he cooked that boy. On that, I owe you an apology. I wasn't really familiar with your game type timing. His street cred went up after this, but now it's time to skip ahead a bit. And it's time to go on to victim number two, Hidoria. Now this pre-alpha boo really ain't shit, so this about to be a quick one. His ass is just cruising. <laughs> Oh, this ass gets caught lacking and gets sent for a little swim. He caught on real quick and discovered he's not Michael Phelps. So he got his ass up on the land. He looks up to Vegeta with his arms folded and I'm watching like, oh nah, this man is on timing. Dodoria's other scouter broke, so he needed a new one. And Dodoria tells Vegeta to hand that scouter over before shit gets critical. And I'm like, oh nah, who does he think he is? He really got a confidence boost off them weak ass manipulators. There's no way he should be talking like this. Vegeta drops the scouter though, talking about some here, take it then. See to me, dropping something on the floor and telling somebody to pick it up is type disrespectful. But the Doria took that as a sign of him surrendering. So he starts walking up to go get it. And this whole time I'm thinking, can his build even let him do that? Look at him. It looks like bro doesn't have the facilities for all that. The second he leans over, he falling like a domino. The camera pans to Vegeta and he just looking demon. You know what's trouble when you can't see their eyes. Vegeta steps on the scouter, crushing it, and Dodori is over there shook, but he tried to save face by saying you gon' regret that shit. Vegeta's just like, oh word, and takes a step forward, and Dodoria starts walking back. That boy standing on absolutely nothing right now, he just getting bitched. Out of fear, he starts spamming Key Blast at bro, just for Vegeta to move out the way and get right behind him. Dodoria tries hitting him, then gets blocked. Then Vegeta throws him around like they a dancing couple, and this last move right here is suspect. He grabs both of his arms, gets behind him, and starts pulling. Had me questioning if I'm watching the right Dragon Ball. They were sitting in this position for the next five minutes. The only reason he got out is because he was like, Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. Right. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. To which Vegeta finally lets go. The Doria started telling him the truth about his past. He like, yeah, your father died to a weak ass uppercut. Bro is sorry. And Frieza boomed your planet. Bro thought saying that was gonna make this man fall to his knees or something. He just like, damn, that's tough. Then told the Doria to tell his father, he said, hey, hits him with the work in progress, big bang attack. Sends him straight to hell. So right now he got two whole wins in a row. And if you know Toriyama, there's no way he's getting the third. Anytime Toriyama gives Vegeta a win, he starts tossing and turning in his bed. He can't sleep right until he takes an L. But let's get into the next fight. He intercepts Zarbon and they face off. That boy Vegeta coming off two wins like and took no damage. I know he's feeling unstoppable right now. Zarbon fires a blast and Vegeta's smiling at the side of it cause he knows it's light. He blocks it and sends it into the ocean and the explosion was looking like a Storm 4 cutscene. The camera cuts back to Vegeta and he's posing like he in the uh -huh. edit right now. The fight was looking one sided as hell. Vegeta <laughs> elbows him in the face and then Zarbon's like my turn and goes 0 for 30. After all those embarrassing misses, Vegeta does one last dodge and does a backflip kick. Sending Zarbon falling down and landing hey, on all yo. fours. And I'm not gonna lie, this like the 8th time I used the AO sound. Planet Namek is questionable what they got them out there doing. Vegeta gets behind bro. Kicks him in the back, sending him flying and eating dirt. And here we go again with this anime cliche, bruh. He starts getting up and laughing. Talking about some, hmm, bravo, your progress intrigues me. I'm gonna have to use my final form. All these villains got the same script. Anytime they get their ass beat, they always doing this, bruh. Please, do something else. And that should have Vegeta laughing. He like, just shut your lame ass up, bruh. He started readjusting his shooting sleeve like he Carmelo Anthony. Then he transforms, and his ass look like an oversized ninja turtle, bruh. Tell him to put the pizzas down. Vegeta just like, oh nah, you're chopped, and then gets kneed in the gut. <laughs> this the beginning of the end, I could hardly watch. He takes his face and dribbles it off the floor. My man took two hits and he already looks defeated. He gets kicked up, and that shit has him spitting out blood. Zarbon got no wasted movements, grabbed his leg and hits his head on the ground. 
and this is when I knew his only goal was to give him that premium CTE. He grabs his head with both hands and repeatedly headbutts him, and you know his head is ringing right now. He gonna wake up and just start glitching from this point on. There's just no way his brain can function right after this. The camera cuts away from bro, comes back, and we still see him getting his ass beat. Vegeta gets put in a chokehold, and this is where he finally fights back. He repeatedly elbows him to get him off. But man, his stamina is cooked. Look at him, he's struggling just to keep himself up. Zarba knew it was free eats from here. He could see the triangle circle hanging over his head. He kicks him in the gut again, hits a crazy windup, and sends him flying down. He then goes to grab him to make sure he's falling at maximum speed. Then he drops him off like a UPS driver, throwing him to the ground at 500 miles per hour and then leaving. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you for 325k. We moving. Also, let me know if you want a part two.